My say men's and women's basketball teams were at home tonight hosting Valley City. Now both teams were coming off of holiday tournaments and tonight's game would be the last for both squads before opening conference play on Saturday at the University of Mary. The women's team was looking to avenge a one-point exhibition loss to the Vikings who were ranked 16th in the nation at the NAIA level. So let's head up to the dome for this one. And the Vikings leading in early on in the third quarter here. Haley Hildebrand takes the ball down low, goes off the glass and in. The Beavers pull back within one. And that sparks the offense here. This is Maddie Wall knocking down the open three. That completes an 8-0 run to make the score 32-26. Later on, how about this? Carrie Clements with a short jumper down low. She had 19 on the night. The Vikings come back in transition. Diera Daigle takes the pass for the easy two. Valley City still trailing, but the Beavers keep the uh, good half going here in the second half. Quick pass gets walled in open. She had 18 on the night, and Minot State goes on to win it 66-59. to Next up for the Lady Beavers. Again, they will be at the University of Mary coming up on Saturday. Back to the dome for the men's action here. First half in Minot State's Max Cody here with a nice fall away off the glass. That would tie things up early on. Later, it's the Beavers working the pick and roll here. Nebra White here with the bounce pass to Cody Dwyer and the one and the Beavers take a 14-7 lead. The Vikings, they go on a 5-0 run here. Connor NC gets the floater across the lane to drop, but the Beavers got a big first half from David Akibo off the lob. He lays it in. The Maya State goes up 20-15. Then it's Cody here with the pull-up jumper. The Beavers go on an 8-0 run. They open up a 10-point lead. Akibo showing the range as well. He knocks down the three. He had 25 in the game, 11 in the first half, 14 in the second half. Minot State goes on to win it 61 to 47. Again, also the men's team. Next up for them will be at the University of Mary for the conference opener coming up on Saturday.